Howdy folks, Jake here with the Banjo Bend General Store and we got another tech tip for you today. What we're gonna show you is how to raise the height of your saddle on your guitar. Um, this can be uh, a necessary step to eliminate a buzz sometimes depending on what's going on. Uh, it could also need a neck adjustment. Uh, sometimes saddles need to be lowered instead of raised to uh, get the action down where it needs to be, but we're not gonna go into any detail on those things. We're gonna just specifically talk about how to raise the height of your saddle. So um, we're going to do this using some very common things you'd find in your house because that's what most people have available. And I found that this works well if you don't have fancy shim stock and stuff like that. Now, first off, I need to disclaim that there are many ways to do this. Uh, and depending on the guitar, like if I was working on a $6,000 Martin guitar, or, you know, fill in the blank here, if the saddle need to be raised, I in most cases like that, I would just build an entirely new taller saddle. But sometimes, especially for, you know, do it yourself at home kind of stuff, uh, this works really well and it could help you out. It could help a lot of you out possibly to know this. So what we're going to need, uh, just a pair of scissors, uh, some super glue gel. I like this stuff. You can get it at most any store, a little piece of sandpaper. And what we're using for our shim stock, is a piece of your Venetian blind off your window. <laughs> and uh, I've actually, I've got a, a whole bunch of these uh, here, but uh, it's a good hard material. If you hear it, uh, uh, transfers tone nicely. I've, I've used this stuff before and have found no ill effect to the sound uh, by doing it this way. And uh, it's easy to work with, it's easy to use. So what we do, I've kind of done this in stages, just like a cooking show. Uh, because we have to have glue time uh, dr to dry and cure out and things like that. So uh, I'll just explain. It's a very simple process. If we need to raise our saddle, we'll start with our blank saddle here. Um, and if you're sneaky about this, uh, you can just go where your blinds overlap and you can just trim a little bit off the bottom of one and your significant other will never know that you've been mutilating the blinds to serve a purpose for your guitar. Uh, but I've got a full piece here, so you just set the uh, the saddle on there, you know, on the edge somewhere. I'd set it like so. Give yourself a little room on each side, and then make a mark here, and then make a mark back on this side of the saddle, and then cut it with a pair of scissors. You get a strip looks about like that, right? So at that point, we would just take our super glue gel, and uh, if you can see there. Just give it a little trace. Doesn't have to be much at all. We go all the way across with it. And I'm kind of just doing this on the quick to demonstrate. Then you'd set our saddle on there and kind of shift it back and forth. Get it right about where you need it. And then you're going to hold that there like that for a couple minutes. Make sure it gets good and dried on there. Okay. So we'll set that aside. Once it's good and dry, it'll look about like this one does. And if you notice, we've got a little bit of room on each side, which is what we want. So at this point, we're going to take our razor knife, or you can use a pocket knife or even the edge of your scissors if you've got nothing else. Um, and we're just going to go around here real quick and trim off that extra edge. just like how you were taught to shave. And just keep looking at it, make sure we get it nice and flush with the side of the saddle. And if you're using a plastic saddle, on a bone at saddle, it won't be an issue, but if you're, if you're shimming up a plastic saddle, be careful you're not shaving the saddle. Go at kind of an angle like this, you know. So once we get it down to that point, we'll kind of just nip the edge off here. Trim the edge. All right, that's pretty much all there is to it. At this point, we'll take our sandpaper, um, take a few swipes along that joint, like so.
And there you have it. You can see we've essentially raised, I'm kind of polish that out a little better. Like I said, I'm trying to just show this quick to not take up too much of y'all's time. You can see we've raised the height of our saddle. If you need to do it higher, you can repeat this step, this whole process. You just put another, make you another cut on your blinds, um, glue that to the bottom of this one, and repeat. Like I've said before, just like a bottle of conditioner. Lather, rinse, repeat. And that's all there is to it. And that'll get your the height of your saddle up to a point where uh, you can get that buzz to go away. Like I said, there's other methods for doing this, and I've used them all. You can even take just the glue and uh, make you a masking tape line around the saddle and fill that with glue, and then even mix in some bone dust and stuff like that and let it harden and sand it. Uh, that just takes a little more time. This is kind of the most instantaneous way to get your desired result. And you can do it with stuff just sitting around the house. So I hope that helps folks. Like always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.